Hey guys, this is Sam from the uh, Slack community and I just wanted to go over how I went about creating my blog post on my WordPress website to put all my covers on that I've uh, had done through Fiverr.com. It can be a little bit tricky if you're not sure what to do and you know sort of making sure this blog post turned out to look halfway decent uh, and all the images sort of like lined up correctly was a challenge in itself. It took me a few hours to fi figure out, but actually it can be done within five minutes with a very simple strategy. And I wanted to sort of like, you know, give you this information so that you don't have to spend or waste several hours playing around with technology in order to do this. And the great thing about putting several covers on your blog post is that it's much easier to link back to if you post something in your Facebook account to your friends it can get lost in the newsfeed whereas if you put it on your blog post you can actually even you know get people to share using these sort of like you know social share buttons and it makes it easier to uh, look you know on, on a big sort of website page to compare different covers so what I did was I logged into the back end of my WordPress website, which if you're familiar with WordPress, I'm going to assume that you are. Uh, what you need to do is, this is the back end, and you want to go look up for a plugin called Column Shortcodes. So literally just click on New here, and it will take you to this page, and you type in Column Shortcode, and then click on Search Plugins. Next step will take you into the WordPress plugin uh, repository and you just click on column shortcodes there'll be a, a link here to which will say in, install now I've already got in, it installed um, I saw this by rating so you can see it's got a five star rating here for ease of use so I clicked on install now and then it will ask you to activate the plugin which I did and it's now it's saying as installed so this is like a really simple process if you do use WordPress you should be comfortable in how to add a new plugin to your back end. If not, then just follow these steps that I've told you. Once you do that, what you want to do is then go to your install plugins and it'll bring you onto uh, this, this page here. You then want to click on edit uh, over here. And then if you click over here it says read me text if you click on the read me text this gives you instructions on how to create the short codes within your WordPress post or your WordPress page so if we just scroll down here uh, you can see these are the different column widths so you've got a full width uh, which is the full width of the page that you can take up uh, for your book cover the full width would be literally one book cover uh, per part on the um, per row, sorry, on the page. A half would give you two book covers on that same row, uh, and so on and so on. You know, one third, one fourth, etc. Right. So if we scroll down here, these are the actual codes, and to get access to this code you just go into the what you see is what you get editor within WordPress when you add a page or a post and I'm going to show you how this is done so just very briefly these are the codes that you need to focus on I chose to go for one fourth which is over here uh, so I got four covers on my WordPress page I experimented with three, I experimented with five, but I, I just sort of felt that five was too much and three um, felt a little bit too few, uh, given that I've got 20 covers in total that I've had done for me. Um, you know, 20 covers is five neat rows or four covers. If you've only got, say, like, you know, six covers then you may want to get like maybe three on two rows anyway so I'll go into how to create this page now in your WordPress backend what you do is you literally click on 
uh, pages over here click on add new which I'll do over here and you literally just type in you know your uh, title of your page and it will come up over here um, the link will form over here this is your permalink so you can always refer back to this as the URL when you are sharing it on say your Facebook fan page or within the Slack community and then you just type in your text here as normal so um, please give me some feedback on the book covers below and then what you would do is you would have a link so you would you know put the URL of the link that you're going out to I actually decided to you know upload my images on a file sharing website you can use things like Flickr or I use Photobucket personally um, if you upload images to your WordPress website it can slow your server down if you're getting a lot of uh, traffic to your website uh, so depending on how much bandwidth you have allocated to you by your hosting provider you may want to take that into consideration i.e. hosting your images or any other media in fact on an external website you know you can embed things like YouTube videos uh, onto your website and you can do the same thing with images if you host the images on another service provider which there's plenty you know free of charge you can always you know choose to embed these images into your WordPress blog rather than weighing your website down with additional uh, files which will be your media images because some of these media images can get quite large you know even like sort of one or two megabytes per image it adds up and if you suddenly got you know 10 15 20 images each about one megabyte in size well that's 20 megabytes of you know files that have to be downloaded first uh, before your end user can access all of your covers and if it's from your own WordPress website and that's on a shared hosting account it could take a while to load up on a slow internet connection e.g. from a mobile device whereas if you're pulling in the images from uh, an external source like you know Flickr or Photo Bucket then their servers are inevitably going to be much faster uh, so you literally would add in the URL which is the link to the website and then once that code is in your post or your page you would click on this button here and you would select whether you want to have it showing one or two or three or four or five images per row I went with four images so I clicked on one fourth and then what happens is you get this code which wraps around the link so the link i.e. the URL let's just say it's going to be something like you know site.com um, add the link so ahref is um, the HTML code for the URL of where your image is posted and don't worry about all this HTML stuff uh, you're literally just clicking on link and then wrapping that link with this particular code which I've got from this button this is the short code for the columns so you know if I was pulling it in from flickr.com then you know it would be something like you know uh, photo1.jpg um, or whatever the URL is of where that image has been uploaded to it goes in these you know sort of inverted commas here and then I'm going to show you and then literally just you know rinse and you just cut and paste this code in for each separate image afterwards and I'll show you the page of uh, my cover my sorry my book covers page I'll show you the the code for it now so this is what the code looks like on the back end um, ignore this this has got nothing in there so you are, can just delete that out this and NBSP 
semicolon is just the HTML code for WordPress to create a space uh, in between lines. Um, you can also use other HTML, traditional HTML codes like uh, break or paragraph, which are like these. Um, it looks a bit neater when you use this code in WordPress. So I've got a bit of blurb here, some text. And then what I've done is you can see I'm pulling in, this is my URL on photo bucket. This is the exact URL where my first book cover actually is. So I'm going to um, cancel this and I'm going to go uh, stay on page and we'll go to the book covers page and I'll show you the corresponding code on the back end. So this is the first cover of, the f of 20 and if you click on this image it will take you to the full URL which is over here. Okay, So literally you would copy this code and you click on link here and you'll come up with ahref so on and so on and you literally just cut and paste um, the URL into here and then to make sure that you are you you are basically linking your thumbnail so to speak to the full URL you can add in this short code here so this code here which is image source and then what you want to do is again um, add in the full URL here. So what the AHREF does is it pulls in the code so that it displays on your website um, and if I link to it straight then it would come out with this full image here on the, the WordPress page but I don't want the image to look this big on my WordPress page because it will just dominate the whole page and make it look massive so what I've done is I've added in these codes here which is width equals 150 in inverted commas height equals 200 in inverted commas and what this does is it reduces the size of this image on my WordPress page to display as 150 pixels in height and 200 pixels wide so what the end result looks like is a nice thumbnail image like so so if you want the code for this I'm happy to paste it over to you and then what I literally did was then I just cut and paste all of this code and then all I did was I ended up changing the URL inside so I labeled all my covers book 1, book 2, book 3, .jpg and so on all the way up to 20 and I just rinsed and repeat in terms of cutting and pasting the code and it gives me a nice layout um, of one, two, three, four. Then the next challenge I had after getting these book covers um, lined up nicely was how do I get the text cover to show up nicely as well. And again, you just you know use the same code as from before, which is over here. And I have put the one fourth code here and over here which is from selecting from these short codes here and then I've added the text in cover number one and the reason I've added extra spaces over here is just so that it lines up neatly in the middle otherwise what will happen is the cover one text will be showing on the left hand side over here and uh, this is just to sort of like centralize it uh, there is short code within WordPress which is um, this center and then you can put in you know say like cover number one and enter that like that if you were just doing normal text and you wanted the text to display in the middle of the page if you wanted this text to show in the middle of the page so it starts from here and probably ends up here or something then you could use center which is ER which is Americanized and then uh, forward slash center and have your text in the middle 
but what I found was this code doesn't work very well with this plugin code so it's just easier to use these um, n and sign nbsp semicolon to create an extra space and that's it it's really quite simple so you could do this within literally sort of you know five ten minutes rather than spending a few hours hunting around for information on Google and then experimenting with different plugins for example I did try using this manually in some WordPress themes you can actually get away with just putting the images right next to each other but in my WordPress theme when I tried to put all these images right next to each other it ended up putting them on separate lines so this is just a neat way of making sure that all your book covers show up in nice neat columns I hope this has helped and if you need any uh, advice on the code just shoot me a message and I'll be happy to send it over to you. Thanks.